In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about lookup override in Informatica Cloud IACS. So this is the lecture 31 is there. So let's understand about the lookup override. So first you are going to create new mapping. Let's give you a meaningful name m underscore lookup override and uh, here for adding the little description example of lookup override. So first we're going to take the source. So here let's take the source and uh, going to use the uh, Oracle Escort.com and selecting the object so here going to select the object called EMP so EMP is now so here that's loaded there if you want then you can see the records inside the AMP by clicking here preview data. So this is the record and here this dpt number is the important column. Let's uh, and thereafter going to use uh, their lookup transformation. So using here connected lookup and there we need to set the property so here you can see this is the incoming field and here lookup object so going to select oracle is called and going to select here the object dpt so dpt selecting because so, so if i go on this preview data here you can see insert the preview data dpt number is so dpt number is the common column between emp table and dpt table thereafter click on this turn here let's give the so there is so mismatch is there same name is there so let's click on this resolve so resolving on this source so here going to use prefix and let's give you e underscore so e underscore they after let's give you let's click on this plus so this is look of it dpt number and uh, here on this source of it going to select e underscore dpt then after this here return field and advance so right now i'm not going to use the lookup SQL override. So if I take the cursor here, you can see this is uh, about override the default SQL statement to query lookup table. Specify the SQL statement you want to query lookup values. So this is used to override the default SQL statement. With the help of lookup SQL override, we can do here override the default SQL statement. So first here. I'm going to run this mapping without using SQL override. So this here SQL part that's done. Let's uh, select here the target and this you can see this is the incoming field. So they're going to exclude the some fields because so many columns are there. Let's click on this exclude and configure. So here e-commerce and uh, here ename that's okay higher date on check mjr let's uncheck cell also and here this is location cell okay david so according to the requirement you should select here so now dpt number dpt number so that's from dpt table and emp table okay this things that's fine click on this okay so this fields are there let's click on this target so you can use here the target table relational or let's give here platform 
and clicking on this select and let's click on this new runtime so writing there lookup lkp sql overwrite dot txt file that's going to create at the runtime so here click on this ok and now click on this save so mapping is valid now let's click on this run and here run once again so this time using uh, this so uh, mapping without using sql override so mapping is uh, starting there now and uh, now you can see there is uh, one file that's created there lookup override and this is the data that's come there so 2020 was 30 30 30 this all match then according to that the value that's displaying now the next is here let's click on this download logs so when you click on this download log let's click place default sql or to create the lookup cache so this here or lookup transformation this default query that's uh, executed there default query this is the default query there so what we need to do let's click on this plus and here you can paste uh, this so this uh, query that's uh, generated there so here order by dpt number and this default query and select dname dpt number as from the escort db travel and here making the dpt number in order wise so our dpt number is order wise that's displaying because the in the lookup transformation here you can see the lookup condition is now dpt number dpt number must be same so based on this condition this is here making the order by dpt number lookup override so this is our default query so this default query that can be override so for this one let's give you advanced section and here so they're going to paste one query so i want to do the filter here so let's uh, select this query on this lookup sql override so select dpt number as DP, D, dpt number dname as dname log as log from dpt level, this is the condition is there now let's click on this save button and here click on this run and now let's so see the jobs so currently mapping is now running so this success first you are going to check the or uh, this so uh, or uh, table record so here you can see so when that match 2020 that returning the value research 3020 that doesn't match so that this is so uh, returning the blank or null so here 20 match then research here 20 match then when that match 20 then that uh, returning the dnf value as that returning here blank now the next is so here let's go on this and uh, let's click on this download you can see override sql create cache so this is the condition is there now if i paste this to so copy this one and uh, paste there So this time you can see lookup override SQL created cache and here select dname, dname, dpt number, dpt number and where dpt number this condition is there double minus that's given so that here this is making dpt number and dname in order wise. Okay, so when you uh, write this SQL override query, so this override the previous query, this query that's override. 
So it was term default query. So with the help of this as lookup override, we can override the default query.